Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will be solving code forces round 908 div2 problem b 2 out of 3. Okay, pause the video, read the question, then we will continue. Okay, good. So what the question is saying that we will be given an array a and we need to find an array b. Now, what are the constraints that while making this array b, we can only use number 1 to 3. And one more thing that if two numbers are equal in a that is if a of i is equal equal to a of j that means in that scenario we can either replace b i with 1 and b j with 2 or b i with 1 and b j with 3 or b i with 2 or and b j with 3 and in total in total there should exactly two condition out of this three should satisfy at all the time what does that mean the, the second yeah so what it is saying that we have an array a okay a1 a2 a n from this array a we have to make an array b okay now the condition is that this b can either be 1 or 2 or 3 okay any b of i can be 1 or 2 or 3 and one more thing is that if a of i is equal equal to a of j then in that scenario we can either have b of i equals to 1 and b of j equals to 2 or or uh, let's understand what does this mean this means that let's say in a we have we have two numbers saying here it is 4 at 0th index and at 3rd index also we have 4 and there will be more elements so that means in this b th in this b th array this was array a so in b array what we can do we can either replace it this is with one or two okay or as per the question we could could have replaced this with one or three or two or three so in total either we can replace it with one and two or one with one and three or two and three now so once we'll done we'll be done with the replacement i mean any we'll be choosing any one of these so once we'll be done with this replacement we should have at least or sorry exactly two conditions satisfied so uh, either a of i is equal equal to j so for all these places either we can have bi is equals to 2 and bj equals to sorry bi equals to 1 and bj equals to 2 or bi equals to 1 and bj equals to 3 or bi equals to 2 and bj equals to 3 okay so let's understand it in more detail what it is trying to say so let's say if we have three fours right so see if we want to replace these two then we can let's say write one two if we'll want to see uh, if we'll want to replace this two because see zero one two if we select index zero and select index two then it will satisfy this condition right a i a of a zero will be equal to a of two Okay, in that scenario, we can replace this with 1 and we can replace this with 3. Okay, but if you'll see that, what, what had happened over here is that if we are selecting this 2, then our first condition got satisfied that we are putting this one. 1 is equals to bi equals to 1 and bj equals to 2. If we are selecting this 2, like the 0 and like the 0 and the last, that is second index, then in that scenario, we have b i equals to 1 and b j equals to 3 so our second condition is also getting satisfied and if we are selecting just b2 or b1 and b3 b2 basically on the basis of index so in that scenario b i equals to 2 and b j equals to 3 then this and this condition is also getting satisfied so we were satisfying all the three conditions but no we don't have to satisfy these three conditions right because that's what the question said that we have to satisfy exactly two conditions so one possible solution we can give over here is one possible solution we can give over here is uh, we can replace something like this this four this four and this four right so first of all we select this and or if we replace something like this then if we'll select this one right if we'll select this one and this one we will have one and two okay if we will select this one and this one then we will have 2 and 2. 2 and 2 is not any of the conditions, so we don't have to worry about. And again, if we will select the first and the last, then again we will have 2 and 2. But here, 
here we have satisfied only one condition where we have satisfied only one condition so what we realized from here what we realized from here is i mean if if there are number if we you know replace with all these three one two three then we will be satisfying all the three condition but if we are rep replacing or using only two digits that is one or two or similarly you know we could have done it like two three three or one three three so anyway if we are using two digits if we are using two digits in that scenario we will be satisfying only one conditions okay and but if we are using three digits then we are satisfying all the three conditions but this we can't do okay so you will realize that for one particular number right for one particular number let's say four 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 it doesn't matter any number of times if we can either replace with you know if we will either replace with you know one and two or one and three so in total in total it can only satisfy one condition it can only satisfy one condition why because if we'll use all the three digits that is one two and three then it will satisfy all the three conditions and which cannot be possible or which should not be possible because in that scenario that is not possible or we cannot have our answer okay we cannot have our answer because we have to satisfy exactly two conditions so we cannot take one two three or we cannot replace this four 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 upon uh for, by one two three and this four can be you know distance apart we don't have to worry about i mean in this array a we had like let's say we had three places four okay so but we we know that right that if we re replace this with one let's say if i replace this with one this is two and two so it will satisfy our one condition okay now let's say let's say if there was another number seven 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 so what we can do we can replace with one three 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 okay so what it will, what will happen over here that we will satisfy another condition that if a of i equals to a of j in this scenario that is equal to seven so for this we have either you know we'll be picking this one and three so bi will be one and bj equals to three so this will satisfy our another condition that let me write down all three condition here first was one two right six one three and two three so this one two was satisfied from here and this uh one three is getting satisfied from here so we are satisfying this two condition okay so we realize that if we want to satisfy one condition we will need you know we'll need something like this one uh where we will be putting two kind uh, basically two numbers one and something like that else 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 now understand one thing if if we have to satisfy any condition then we need at least two numbers at least two same numbers or the frequency of the same number because let's say if there was only one four right if there was only one four then then we cannot replace it or we cannot satisfy any condition by using one four because there was we should have a of i equals to a of j right a of i equals to a of j but there is if there is only one four that means we are not satisfying this so we cannot satisfy the remaining part of the condition so from there what we observed that for satisfying any condition for satisfying any condition the frequency of that particular number frequency of particular number should be greater than should be greater than equal to two that's first thing that's first thing and we also realize that we can satisfy only one condition we can satisfy only one condition using one number okay satisfy one condition from one number from one number and this one number must have this frequency greater than equal to two right this number must have frequency greater than equal to two okay so let's say let's say if i have all the numbers over here and if there are less than two or see something like this way that if there are only or there is no element repeated let's say this is eight so there is no element repeated that means none of the frequency have greater than equal to two okay so that means we cannot satisfy any condition in that scenario and we can simply return print minus one yeah uh, i forgot to mention that we can return minus one if there is no possibility if there is no possibility okay so so one thing is clear let's say if there was only one number which is getting repeated 
two times or greater uh, than two times so in that scenario we can we can satisfy one condition either we are satisfying one and two or two and three or one and three because we know that if we'll try to go to uh, you know if we'll try satisfying more than one condition using this we will be satisfying all the three conditions so that's why if we are choosing one group then we will satisfy one condition so so from here what we can say that let's say let's say we have three groups we have three groups whose frequency was greater than one let's say four seven and eight the frequency was greater than one greater than one that is equal to greater than equal to two so there were more than two sevens there were more than two fours so what we can do is we can satisfy one two or the first condition for here also we can satisfy one two and from the here what we can do we can satisfy three two or like third condition two three sorry two three so in total in total we are satisfying only two conditions right we are satisfying only two conditions first one and the last one we can also satisfy one three over here it depends on you it depends on us so so what i am trying to show you guys over here is that we know that out of three conditions right the first one is one two one three and two three for satisfying this we need any number any number whose frequency is frequency of this number should be greater than or equal to two and now using one number we can satisfy one condition so we satisfied this condition once and now let's say there were three groups so we will satisfy this condition and this condition or any two conditions we won't satisfy all the three conditions because we have to satisfy only two conditions right so what we can do is for like there were n groups or like n such possibilities or n such numbers whose frequency was greater than or equal to two so out of n we will uh, take n minus one groups and we will satisfy them first condition one two and the remaining can use be used to satisfy one three so in total we will be satisfying just two conditions right so now how we make our b array so what we can do is first of all first of all if if we have any given array a so we'll just make a replica b and we can simply replace every number with one okay every number with one now if four is repeated four is repeated let's say so what we can do that is that see if we had three four we could have simply replaced it like one one two okay so if we would have taken this it will have b i equals to one and b is equals to one it's not satisfying any condition if we'll take this one then it will satisfy one two that is first condition that's okay if we'll take first and last then again it will satisfy one two okay so i mean that's a favorable solution for this four so what we can do is we can simply replace this last one by two so let's say we replace last one by two similarly if we had seven 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 something like this so we would have replaced last one by two but there will be one number there will be one number let's say there are only two groups there are only two groups uh, whose frequency was greater than two so in that scenario what will i have to do i'll have to replace this by three because let's say if there was only four 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 and seven 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 so if we are satisfying condition first that is one two by this group then we must satisfy condition one three by this group then only we'll be able to satisfy two conditions right so so what we'll do we'll replace the last last satisfying group a three okay last satisfying a group three it doesn't have to last i mean you can pick any of the group you can pick any of the group and make one of the you know occurrence one of the occurrence of that particular group positions replaced by three so in total what will happen so for all this group we'll have one 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 and one occurrence will be three and similarly for all this group what we can do we can have just one element one element replaced by two so in in a nutshell or concludingly what we have that first of all there should be at least there should be at least two groups two groups two groups what is the group basically the group will be the same number so two groups whose frequency is greater than or equal to 2 that's a must condition if that's not we can simply return minus 1 now if that's the case how we'll replace it first of all we'll replace everything by 1 okay i mean this more of an implementation you can implement in any way any manner you want to but a one easy approach is like let's say i'll i have replaced everything by 1 now we know that there are four four so i will replace the last four by two similarly i if there are three groups right 
so for two groups i will replace the last element by 2 and for the last group i will replace the last element by 3 last element as in whatever the index we have for this let's say it was 777 so whatever the index of this last 7 we can replace that by 3 so in total we will be satisfying only two groups or two conditions basically okay let's move to the code so what we are doing over here is we are uh, taking an input uh, making a vector a or taking the input and making a map okay so one mp is will be used to used to store the frequency whereas idx will be used to store the last index for any particular number so let's say 4 was occurred three times so the last index of that 4 will be stored in this idx so that's what we are doing see we are incrementing the count of ai and we are updating the index of ai so then we are having a variable zero okay first of all what we are checking if the frequency is greater than one then we are incrementing the count and at the same time we are just checking out or like you know we are just taking out what was the last element in this map why though why though because for that element only we will replace it with by three so let's say if the count was less than two count was like what it was checking how many elements are there whose frequency is greater than two so if that is less than two then in that scenario we don't have any answer we can simply see out minus one and we can return else else we prepared our answer vector filled it with one now so there are, let's say uh, out of all the groups what we'll have to do first of all we marked everything or the last element of every group as two and we only have to mark you know at least one group by you know last element of at least one group three so that two conditions got satisfied so that's what you would have seen here that we are storing that what was the value of the last group which was satisfying this condition that is the frequency was greater than two so for that group what we did that we mark that value or that index in the answer as three so that our second condition also gets satisfied so in total we will have two conditions satisfied and finally we printed our answer okay i have submitted this solution and this is an ac solution but if you guys have any doubt put in the comments i'll help you thank you guys see you in the next video